Shabbatai, with regards to Yom Kippur, the Torah refers to Yom Kippur in a very uh, interesting way. The Torah says, Ta'anut nafshotechem, betish'al ha'chodesh ba'erev, me'erev ad'erev, tishbetu Shabbatechem. It means, the Torah refers to Yom Kippur as the ninth of the month at night, which is not really correct. We know that Yom Kippur is the tenth of the month. So why does the Gemara refer to it that way? The Gemara says, Masih Brachot Avchet, that the reason for this is the Chachamim considered a person who eats and drinks on Erev Yom Kippur to have fasted two days on Erev Yom Kippur and on Yom Kippur as well. Now, the Rosh, Rabbeinu Asher Bar Yichiel, explains this mitzvah, the mitzvah to eat on Erev Yom Kippur. He says that it's such a great mitzvah because HaKadosh Baruch Hu loves us so much and wants us to be able to fast properly on Yom Kippur. So he commanded us to eat on Erev Yom Kippur. The Yishibole Aleket says the opposite. It says, no. Since the mitzvah of Yom Kippur is to suffer by, as a result of the fast, when a person eats and drinks well on Eid of Yom Kippur, you suffer more on the fast day. It says exactly the opposite. The Sfatimet says, another inter interesting shot, he says when a person is full, if you eat and drink well, you'll be happier, and you'll be more in the mood to ask people for forgiveness. Different reasons for the mitzvah of eating or drinking Yom Kippur. Regardless, Maran Tachon Vercha writes, that women are just as obligated in this mitzvah of eating and drinking on Erev Yom Kippur, although it's positive and time-bound, it's mitzvah Asesh Azman Grama, because since they are obligated in the fast of Yom Kippur, they're obligated in this mitzvah as well. Agon Ben Yishai writes in Parashat Vayelech, the halacha is that on Erev Yom Kippur, a person obviously has to ask everybody for mechila, especially, he writes, one's parents. A person whose parents are still alive, a person has the zechut, to have parents who are still alive, um, if they're in town, he has the holy obligation to go over to them on Erev Yom Kippur and kiss their hands and ask them for forgiveness and ask them for a bracha, both for his, from his father and his mother. If they are alive but somewhere far, at least call them or whatever it is. If they're not alive, it's mitzvah to visit their graves before Yom Kippur, also once again to ask them for mechila. On Eid uh, Yom Kippur, the halacha is that we have a mitzvah of Hadlakat Anir this year when Shabbat coincides with Yom Kippur. It's the mitzvah of Hadlakat Anir Shabbat and Yom Kippurim. So there's a bracha before, Asher Kiddeshanu B'mitzvotav Tzivanu, Le'adlik Ner Shel Shabbat Ve'Yom Kippurim this year. If a woman is already ready to light, she should make sure that uh, if she wants to say Shechianu at that time, she should not be wearing leather shoes and ready to accept the fast at that time. Um, there's a few other things we have to discuss as well. Bezat Hashem in the coming days. We still have a few more days until Yom Kippur. Have a wonderful day.